So we're going to do some uh, examples of how to use the property tables in the book. So first question says a tank of 500 gallons of water at 40 degrees C and 100 kilopascals. Uh, we want to know the mass of water in the tank in kilograms. So first thing uh, in all these problems is to determine the phase. Uh, do we have liquid, saturated mixture, superheated vapor? So the two things that define the state are 40 degrees C and 100 kilopascals. So those are our conditions, and then we'll go to the uh, saturated table in the book and determine the phase. And so when I have temperature and pressure, I always like to start with the pressure. Go to table A5. Uh, so this is for water, saturated water, organized by pressure. Go find our pressure. So the first column is pressure, 100 kilopascals, and it says the corresponding saturation temperature in the second column is 99.6. So that means that water would boil or change phase 99.6 degrees. Ours is 40 degrees. So if you look at your property reference table, our temperature is less than the saturation temperature. And so that means we have compressed liquid. So half of the problem is done. We figured out the phase. And so now, go to the bottom of your property reference sheet look at compressed liquid and it says we're going to use what's called the incompressible approximation. We won't find compressed liquid tables in the book, at least not for this pressure, because we can make this assumption. It says our specific volume at our conditions, this, is approximately the same as that of saturated liquid, Vf, uh, at whatever temperature we're at. So there's our assumption, so we're going to say at 40 degrees and 100 kilopascals, we have basically the same specific volume as saturated liquid at, uh, at saturation at 40 degrees C. And so we're going to take VF at 40 degrees, which is, so now we need to go to the other table, table A4, the one organized by temperature, find 40 degrees, it says VF is 0 0.001008. Meters cubed per kilogram. Okay, so now we're almost done. The question wanted the mass. So this definition of specific volume is volume over mass. Uh, one more piece of information that I didn't write here. They told us the volume of the tank was 500 gallons. So we have pretty much all we need. We just need to do, do a unit conversion with the volume and then we'll use the specific volume that we have. So we'll solve it for mass, volume over specific volume, volume's 500 gallons, divided by specific volume, 001008 meters cubed per kilogram. Uh, so we have two units of volume dividing uh, by each other, so volume is going to go away, but they're not the right units. So let's get, uh, let's just change the top into meters cubed. So we know there's 264.2 gallons is the same as one meter cubed. Okay, so gallons are on top and bottom. Meters cubed are on top and bottom also. And we could flip this over and bring it over here. So we'd have meters cubed on top. That would go to the bottom. Meters cubed goes away. All we're left with is kilograms would go to the top. And so we could calculate this and get some number of kilograms. I don't have a calculator here, but this is roughly two uh, and two over a thousand. So it's close to two thousand, a little less than two thousand.